It's the Queen of Ambition, and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be Cyber Quasi Uncensored Part 2. Um, I just want to talk about why. Able-bodied people probably won't understand where I'm coming from with this, but a lot of us in life, we have the urge to want to do something. You know, as an able-bodied person, the urge may be wanting to drive, wanting to have a good job, wanting to have this nice car, wanting to have a family, wanting to have all of these different things that you know a person usually wants to have but when you're a disabled person there's limitations to that whether you have a physical disability mental um, you know anything any type of disability anything that falls under the disabled category um, we have this urge to want to do things too, whether it's be independent or live on our own, whether it's having a family, be, being married, driving, um, you know, wanting to walk one day, wanting to see, wanting to hear, etc. But some of us just don't have the opportunity to do that. Um, most times when you have a disability, it is not curable. Um, it is something that is lifelong and sometimes it, get, it gets worse over the years. So uh, we have to find ways to cope with the thought of not being able to do certain things. And I, to me, I don't feel like it's a depression or feeling sorry for yourself with a disability. I feel like it's more of... Uh, like, you know, I really want to do these things. I have this urge to do these things, but I can't do these things because I have this lifelong limitation that is limiting me from doing them. So I have to find out how to cope with that because that is emotional. That is like depressing. That is like, you feel like nobody can relate to you because you have these able-bodied people complaining about, you know, things that they can get up and do, things that they will possibly be able to do one day and you're just sitting here like oh I'm never going to be able to do that you know what I'm saying or I'm never going to be able to do it in a way that you know by myself I will always have to depend on somebody or have somebody to help me um so it's just like one of those things to where you know we want to be independent there are some of us who want to be independent who wants to drive who wants to have a family who wants to you know do all these things with their life but we have this lifelong limitation um that sometimes puts a hold on things and we can't stop that hold um and i just wanted to say like it's okay not to be okay um whether you're able-bodied or disabled it's okay not to be okay um for a lot of us, we try to portray ourselves to always be, you know, happy. Or like, I know for me, like, I'm big on positivity. I'm big on, you know, spreading positive vibes, energy, energy. I'm big on, like, the universe, uh, meditation, and all that type of stuff. But sometimes that just isn't... You know, that just isn't enough. You just have to vent to people. You just have to, you know, let it go and let it, you know, just let other people hear because this might impact somebody. And I just want to just end this video with something positive. Um, something I have been telling myself um, my whole life um, is that regardless of the limitations that I have, I have to make do with what I got. Be appreciative of what I have. Um, 
Although I might have to do things differently or never be able to do the things that I want to do, be grateful that I'm able to do something because all people aren't. And that's going to be the end of Server Coffee Uncensored. I hope you like this video. Give me some feedback if you can relate. Um, and I'll be back with another video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye.